Okay, this is the game is on 100 here in with the video, and this is my preview video for the Chicago Bears Seattle Seahawks game this coming up Sunday. Um, the Bears, sorry, you all know the Bears are favored by 10 points. I feel that the uh, Seattle is going to try to blitz uh, Jay Cutler a lot in this game. Because they're probably going on what they did in week six is by blitzing Jay Cutler. The only thing that the that the Bears could do is to protect Jay Cutler. Is I noticed they have to get into uh in a two tight end two tight end set with a tight end on each end as an extra as an extra blocker for the out for the outside for the defensive back and allow Jay Cutler to. Uh, to do a quick drop, get rid of the ball real quick. I can see that the Bears are going to do that. They should do that. Um, Matt Forte has to also get a good game this coming up Sunday. Um, Chester Taylor is a major key. He has to contribute as well. Um, he doesn't contribute like he has done in the past. He's a very good difference maker in the playoffs as if proven from what he's done before. Uh, Greg Olson is going to be another key person um, to get the ball to in the red zone. He is the key because that is the best part of the opportunity in the game for the tight end in the end zone for the touchdown. It's always logical because the tight end is big and will have good hands to get into. And Greg Olson has great hands. He can get into the end zone to get a grab for Jay Cutler for a touchdown. That's when the tight ends is most is good, is in the is in the red zone. So I expect Jay Cutler and the Bears to do that. Um, Jay Cutler has to, if he's going to get pressured, all he has to do is step up and run with the ball as needed. Get the get as get as uh, many yards as you can while running the ball, while be moving around in the pocket like he's been doing. Um, if he's able to move around in the pocket. Jay Cutler will be all right. Um, he can run with the ball and get the extra yardage needed to get a first down. Um, over on the uh, offensive line, the offensive line is better this time around. Um, I expect the offensive line to do better this time around when they play Seattle. I don't expect Jay Cutler to be set six times in this game. Um, it's going to be a little different. And on for the defense, the Bears' defense has to control Marshawn Lynch. If they're able to stop Marshawn Lynch, they can have Hasselbeck go to the one-dimensional and have him pass the ball. And if the Bears are allowed Hasselbeck to pass the ball, they can drop back. And uh, if they can get pressure with their front four and pressure Matt Hasselbeck, that is when the effect that the cover two is. They can go and go in the zone. And they can make tackles and make plays from the pass. So I expect the Bears are going to stop the run. And they're going to make Seattle be one-dimensional. If they're able to make Seattle one-dimensional, the Bears is probably going to win this game. Uh, turnovers is another key. And turnovers are key for the Bears to win. In the last uh, two or three playoff games back in 2006, the Bears in their two games at Chicago, I mean at the three games that they were in Chicago, my bad, they were, they only had three turnovers, and they, and they had only three turnovers in, in those, in those three games, and they turned, and they took the ball away six times during that span, so I expect that they can get the turnovers on Seattle, that's going to be a major key for the Bears to win this game and special teams. The special teams has to contain Washington in running in uh in returns and Devin Hester has they said they're gonna punt to Devin Hester. I would like to see them punt it to Devin Hester, see what the coverage is going to be like. And we'll see if Jay I'm not Jay, I mean um Earl uh, no, Devin Hester if he can be able to get a return touchdown out of this. It will be key if the Bears can get a return touchdown like they did in week six. And I expect Matt Ryan is uh, Matt Ryan is going to uh, not Matt Ryan, I meant John Ryan.
The punter on Seattle is going to be feared of Earl Bennett because you've seen the week since Earl Bennett laid him out with a hell of a good block on him and took him, took him out of that play. It was an unbelievable hit by Earl Bennett, a nice block, a ferocious block. That was uh, that was a nasty, nasty hit on uh, John Ryan. So that's about Earl Bennett. He's going to probably going to going to. He's a good blocker. Um, he's going to be key in the special teams as well. And I expect uh, Earl Bennett to have a good contributor in a third down because he's basically the Bears' go-to third down guy. He's basically the catches the balls for the Bears for third down conversions. That's what he did in the second half of the season. And uh, another key is we're going to have Lance Briggs back. Uh, Lance Briggs didn't play in this game uh, last time. And uh, we will have Pisa Tispinora will be back. He will be back as a starter. So that is another key. So the Bears are going to have a solid linebacking core going into this game. Um, Lance Briggs is a good run stopper. And they're going to contain... They're going to contain the run and minimize Marshawn Lynch from busting one. And and the Bears are going to win this game. Uh, they're going to win by a total a total score is going to be Bears 27, Seattle 10. Bears is going to probably beat the spread. They're favored by 10. I have a feeling that they're going to Beat the, beat the spread. They're going to beat them by 17 in this game. Um, and then Seattle, uh, give, them, give them their due. They did beat the Saints, but the Saints didn't even want to play in that game last week. They didn't even want to play. So, so you got to get that to them for that. So in closing, this is the Game is on 100. I will give my review video after the game. Hopefully it will be a good review that the Bears advance into the NFC Championship game. And it will be very, we will see if the Bears will play the Green Bay Packers or the Atlanta Falcons. It's going to be very tough to decide who's going to win that game. When we find out on Saturday if, uh, if Green Bay can knock off Atlanta, then Green Bay comes to Chicago with the Bears win on Sunday. Or would you like the Bears to face Atlanta in Atlanta? What is the better option? You guys, what you guys think of this, leave in the video response, comments, uh, whatever you like. So this is the game is on 100. And like I said, I will give my review video at the end of the game. So I'll talk to you all later.